everyone, Ella Bella here. I'm excited to do an experiment today. This would actually be the second time that I'm going to try this technique. Let me show you what I created yesterday. If you can see, it's not exactly what I had in mind. So I'm going to continue to experiment with this technique. Um, but I'm hoping to get large cells like this one, like this one, and then paint over it when it dries to accentuate the shape um, and sort of keep the composition as is. What I've done on this 12 by 12 canvas today is I have applied a coat of Cobalt Blue, um, Amsterdam, and the colors that I'll be using are Liquitex Titanium White. If you can see my consistency, it's very thin. This is a mixed um, color that I uh, created a couple days ago, mixing couple different colors together. I got this. It's a custom color along with this one. Also very thin. And I have a burnt sienna. I can't really tell you my ratios because I've applied a lot of water without really measuring it. But for the most part, before I added the water, I had one part paint, one and a half part flow troll, and the rest was water. So it's probably less than one part water, but there's a lot of water. So you just kind of go by, I guess, experience. Okay, um, I want to keep some blank space on this canvas and if I pour my white titanium last, because it's the heaviest, it will sink to the bottom and will allow for other colors to pop when I add silicon oil. So in that case, I'm going to start with a transparent layer of paint. And like I said, I want to keep some white, so I'm gonna do some blues here. I'm gonna add my beige color here. And more of the beige over here. Then I'm going to apply my fairy water down. Burnt sienna over there. Might be running out of paint. Now I'm tilting the canvas to cover each paint, hopefully with a layer of the other paint. And I think my paint is still too thick. That's why it's not... I'm still seeing a lot of vibrant colors. So... We will see what we get. I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab a different tool. I'm gonna use this palette knife to mix the paint a little better.
let me turn it over because I really like this light blue color that I created. And if you ask me how, I don't have an answer because I just played with different colors that I've had for a while now. going to tilt it more now that I have more white. I'm going to torch it quickly. Torch the air bubbles. There's quite a lot because I just mixed this paint with water. Okay. Let's get started. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Move that over here. All right. Please. So it looks like my white is too thick. I am not seeing much movement. You can see it here, but not as much on the white because the white was too thick. How about over here? Interesting, so what am I doing wrong? Definitely white was too thick. So to save this painting, I think I might do something else. Because I still have some paint left over. I might try and do a blowout, do a Dutch pour. All right, let's see what happens. this corner to apply some more of our blue. A little bit of this color is left. It's gonna be a lot of burnt sienna. Torch it one more time. And some of these cells are turning out pretty cool, but my paint is still too thick.
Look at this. Ooh, that looks like a bug. It's got one of those bugs that can kill you. Oh, look at that one. Ooh, this is turning out pretty interesting. Holy, look at all the cells that are coming up. Okay, I think we may have saved this painting after all. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. Do you see what I'm seeing? And every time I torch, I get more cells. I'm curious, if you also paint, what do you do when you think your painting turned out terrible? Do you wait for it to dry? Do you remove all the paint as it's still wet and clean your canvas and start fresh? Or do you play around with it and see where it goes? Look at all these cool creature type, bones, word array, whatever you can think of is popping up on this canvas. Like I said, every time I torch, new cells pop. That is the magic of silicon oil. Emulsification is happening right in front of you on this canvas. And that's why the science behind this art is so cool. Okay, I'm gonna stop torching after this and do a zoom in so you can see what I'm seeing from a different angle. Look at all the details, wow. white over here. This is so cool. It's a fantastical world of bones and flowers and stars. I love burnt sienna. And I think as we are getting closer to the fall, I'm gonna do more burnt sienna. Okay, um, definitely learned something that if I want to create larger cells, I need to make sure my paint is thinner than what I had today. Yesterday, this version was a lot, a lot more thinner. Let me show you. This was way too thin. This was way too thin. And so a lot of the paint just rolled off the canvas and created these really cool clout type cells, but they broke up too much. That's that painting. And then today, I like this looks like a little tree trunk. 
and then an explosion. And these are the colors that I used, just in case you missed it from the beginning of the video. Thanks for watching.